Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen, our first official trailer for Loki is here. Of course, we got our first look at the Disney Investor Day, which was basically a full trailer, but it was I think it was just called like a first look or a special look or something like that. But now we have our first full-length official trailer for the Loki Disney Plus series. And while it doesn't really reveal anything we didn't already know about this series, it still looks awesome and it still looks like it's going to be a great Disney Plus series. Like the visuals in this trailer are just beautiful and y you know what else is beautiful this disney plus logo like just look at that the gold with the green in the background all the different loki letters just love the way that looks but anyways guys we're go gonna go ahead and break this thing down so we start off the trailer seeing loki he has been brought in by the tva or time variance authority and you see that the he's brought in through this cool like door shaped portal thing which is used a couple different times throughout the trailer so that's already awesome and we get this beautiful shot of them going uh either up or you know down the elevator and you also have the statues here of the timekeepers and if you don't know who the timekeepers are then check out my video that i did on them a couple months ago it's in my loki disney plus series playlist and then he has basically been brought uh, brought in front of the uh, kind of like judge to kind of get his verdict it's like a hearing that you have in the courtroom they're trying to figure out is he guilty and he's Loki of, of course he's guilty he's a very mischievous person so here's the lady that is basically going to decide his fate uh, I don't know her name but uh, she has a big role in the TVA as we see in this trailer there's also the timekeeper statues behind them again then we have Loki walking through here with his TVA uniform on. You also have another prisoner off to the left there. Uh, Loki just being confused about, like, what is going on here. And then, of course, we have Owen Wilson. Awesome Owen Wilson. Love him. Uh, cool seeing him with the gray hair and the mustache here. And he's basically filling in Loki on what is going on here and talking about, like, why he's here and what he's doing. And then Loki asks to, like, he meets this guy in the elevator and has to fill out a bunch of paperwork and he's like I, i'm not gonna fill out paperwork uh again another beautiful logo just this gold and green just goes so well together i love the way it looks then this is we see on a tv it looks like a clock and i believe this is the mascot of the time variance authority because we've seen this on a couple t-shirts and other merchandise for this series so i believe that's like the tva mascot then again owen wilson's character of mobius is filling in loki on like all right you took the tesseract so that means you messed up the timeline and now we need you to help us fix it and that's pretty interesting and he actually shows a demonstration of how this is the different timelines branching off into different realities as how we saw in avengers endgame in that scene with bruce banner and the ancient one it was one continuous stream and if you took out one thing then it would go all over the place well the Tesseract has been removed from this timeline, and now everything is messed up. There's so many different branch realities, and we see that represented in the rest of this trailer. And Loki is going on about, like, do you really think you can trust me? Like, no, not really, but we, we kind of have to. Yeah, looks like they're going on a mission here. On June 11th, oh yeah, we're getting a little break here in May from our Marvel Disney Plus series, but then we're back in June. Looks like we got some TVA soldiers going after Rock's cart, which I believe is maybe a spin on Roxxon, a huge Marvel co company in Marvel. Um, so that's interesting. Loki, of course, using his daggers that he had in Thor, Thor Ragnarok, probably different daggers, but he, he's great with the daggers, so that's cool to be seeing that. Then we get our first look at one of these alternate timelines, where it looks like this is a world where in the first Avengers movie, for the Battle of New York, the Chitauri actually won because you see the Avengers Tower back there and the whole city is just in pieces and completely destroyed. So it seems like the Chitauri were successful in their mission and took over New York. Then we see that, that woman again. I still don't know her name, but she's clearly going to have an important role in this series. And also, again, you see the statues of the TV, uh, no, the Timekeepers. Uh, there she is again. Looks like she's ready for battle. Loki with his daggers it makes it look like they're battling each other but I mean maybe they are maybe it turns out she's evil but I feel like it's probably from a different part of the episode or series then we get into these beautiful shots here like just look at this he's going through one of those portals 
Um, you see he's having a convo with Mobius again. You got that awesome background there. He's hoping he's helping out Owen Wilson because now they're friends. They're they're buddies now. He's helping him out with his tie, so that's cool. Loki in action with his hair all over the place. Then it looks like maybe he's in Asgard because not only are we going to having be having this main Loki exploring the timeline and exploring these different realities, but I think we're also going to be seeing alternate Lokis as well, which I'll get into later when we see possibly one of them. But looks like we may be seeing a bit of his past in Asgard. Then there, there that lady is again. Loki uh, in his like, uh, President Loki uh, running for office look. That it was a big thing in the comics uh, that we saw in our first look from the Disney Investor Day. Love that look for that character. And then we get him battling some weird looking creature here. Uh, an awesome shot here, which is super blurry, but just to see him using his magic here and like that bright green, I just love the way that looks and can't wait to see it in action more. Then also something we saw in the Disney Investor Day trailer is how Loki is going to be uh, dressed up as D.B. Cooper and he's going to be solving all of these different mysteries throughout history, which I think is going to be really awesome to see. Uh, then we have the two look like it looks like they're just having lunch. You know, they're, they're buddies now. They're best friends. They're just having a good time. And Loki's like, yeah, uh, yeah, we're, we're working together and all that stuff. Then even more beautiful shots like you see this one. It looks like a planet is being destroyed, but it looks so beautiful. I, I mean, there's fire and stuff, too. This is like a sideways shot. Looks like Loki is walking down a hallway somewhere. Uh, then he walks up to a door. And, like, this whole place is, like, cracked and stuff, so this may be, like, the source of how the timeline is broken. Then this is the shot I was talking about earlier. A lot of people, for some reason, think that this is Scarlett Johansson's Natasha Romanoff or Black Widow. But, no, she she's blonde. This is Sofia DiMartino, who's going to be the villain of the series. And I'm not sure what character she's going to be. I assume she's either Lady Loki or Enchantress. Uh, I'm leaning more towards Lady Loki because... With the fact that we are exploring multiple dimensions and realities and timelines and alternate Lokis with rumors of Kid Loki and like old Loki and stuff, it makes sense if we saw Lady Loki is here uh, here as well. And also one of the, we saw her wearing a suit on set from set photos of Sofia DiMartino and it looked a lot like Lady Loki. Uh, then this great shot of Loki and Mobius again on a mission and then it ends off the trailer with that barrage of different Loki logos. And it's just cool to see the different fonts here, see all the different stuff, original series streaming June 11th, like all these different letters are completely different. There's that great Disney Plus logo again, just want to throw that in there because it's just so beautiful. And then that is it, ladies and gentlemen. So what did you think about this trailer for the Loki Disney Plus series? Did it get you even more hype for this series than you already were? What were your favorite parts? Let me know in the comments below. And anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep up to date on everything that goes on in the Marvel life.